this ominous countdown. We, Jacob was like, I'm gonna start rolling. It's just like this, like ominous five, four, three, two, one. It was very strange and eerie. Um, Monica, Monica, Monica. Okay, can I read you something? Okay, I don't. I'm shocked at the reading. <laughs> Oh my god. You can read? Oh my god. Oh, 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 she wanna read. Also, does anyone know why they're both in the same app, but Bob is the only one that sounds crunchy as hell every time they do an episode from stereo? Someone said same. Literally couldn't even hear last time, and the episode seems so funny. (sighs) I mean, I I guess maybe I'll prepare some reading for the next episode. And then we'll really see what's good. Ma. <laughs> why did y'all put, why did you and your little crunchy little boyfriend put that little poll in the Patreon about who's normally right or whatever it is? Who's like, what was that about? And y'all, and y'all claim it was for the next episode. What? What? What's first of all, it's, first of all, it's none of your, you're mad because the poll winning. Don't, don't be a Trumper. Don't, don't be Donald Trump. <laughs> Okay, don't I'm be not Donald mad. Trump. I'm asking questions about the podcast. First of all, you can put anything you want in the Patreon, although you practically put nothing. That is literally not be, true. I post in the Patreon. I post in the Patreon pretty frequently, and I actually engage and interact with our patrons, whereas you define frequently. Them, you utilize them as pawns in your scheme for whatever it is you're doing. I actually care about them. I talk to them. I chat back. I comment back. You don't do that. It's me and Jacob so, that always be engaging with the patrons. So let's go into also, the Patreon Also, are right the now. police looking for you? It is, it is a <laughs> SWAT team outside your home. If you go into our Patreon and you look at a lot of, if you go into our inbox and see who like writes people, find out who has actually handwritten letters to our Patreons to mail to their houses, <laughs> that would be me. Okay, that would literally look, be me. And look, so if you ask who who has actually hand mailed hundreds of letters to our Patreon, who has uploaded videos, been like, "Hey everyone, thank you all for blah blah blah." That that's would be me. me. Also, also, I want to I want to make this very clear. That is Jacob. Do anytime you see something that says Bob the drag queen, Jacob did it. That is not Bob. That is Bob not is, Bob true. is lying to all of you. That is not like for example, when I look up what's going on right now, I see one thing I posted. Jacob, and then look in Jacob, the comments. Jacob. Look in the comments. I'm, I'm just trying to see where you posted something. I'm trying to look in the comments. I I'm just waiting the, to see what you I posted. Am, oh, I have to go back so far, but until you, oh, yikes, I engage nope, nah, in almost every post. It. I engage nah, and comment and like nope. stuff. <laughs> yikes! <laughs> oh Ooh, no, Ooh, nope, not you. Ooh, that wasn't you either. Oh my yikes. god, you're a fucking, you're a fucking no fly, uh, no fly. Have you seen these videos of them carting these people off the planes and shit? Girl, talk about. Let me tell you right now. I want y'all to capture all those white tears. I'll be using them in my cocktails. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, a, a nice a nice martini, but instead of uh, instead of gin, I want white tears. That's uh, white tears and olives, girl. That sounds salty as hell. Today I'm making a cocktail called White Tears. All right. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna oh my god, I'm gonna do that with Pam. I'm gonna do a little thing called I'm gonna make her make a drink. Called okay, that's white my tears. idea. You can't take it. You need to ask no, me it's for our idea. It's our idea, babe. No, I I just shut the fuck up. I say, oh wait, pause before we get started. Call your cat over if she even listens. I saw something online and I want you to do it. It's so cute. No, she's no, but call her over. It's really cute. She's sleeping. She'll wake up before we're done. Before the podcast is over, you'll have a chance to do this. I swear. So what you do is you unzip your hoodie, turn it around, put it on backwards, and then put the cat in the hood. Oh yeah, I used to do that when when she was really small. I want to see you do it. It's gonna be so cute. There was this, there was this really, this TikTok, and you know, there's a whole animal TikTok, and you play the sound, and I was just watching the video, and Colleen got wild. She, like, ran, she, like, jetted out of my room, and, and anytime she's scared, she runs, she hides under the couch. I've heard, I've heard you play for her, it's really mean. It's not mean. I've heard you play the sound, and she freaks out. <laughs> it's for TikTok, but I, it was, it was interesting, it was fun. Not torturing your cat for t- for clout. <laughs> oh my god, it's not torture. You're so dramatic. Well, I, I will say this. Uh, if, go. Did you put? If you post it on your TikTok, look at my next cat. Let's say she doesn't look pleased. Um, <laughs> I want to send you a gift. I saw something online called Kitty Crack, and it's like, oh my god, yes! I saw the video today too. I literally ordered it on Amazon today, and you see the cat. Oh. The cat would not let go of the girl's hand. It's like, <laughs> yeah, I was about to order some and send it to you. Well, you already did because the cat is going bananas. It is like. <laughs> Like this cat is freebasing crack cocaine on the streets. It is wild. 
And you know, um, catnip is literally just like it's like an it's, it's like it's like an herb. It like grows and it's like literally an herb, like a, a basil or or a thyme or whatever. That it just grows like a plant. They just dry it up, like, and the, but cats go wild for it, girl. Um, but anyway, all that you being shaved your said, head. your head looks so smooth and pretty. Well, thank you. It's actually not shaved down to nothing, but it looks like it. And um, Ezra does it for me now, which feels a lot nicer because he's a barber. So it, it like Ezra's it, a barber. It, yeah, he is. Work. I did not know that. Um, Bob used to do his stuff, and Bob was notoriously have patches of hair left because Bob used to haphazardly shave his head. And Bob would be sitting down, I'd go like hugging from the back, whatever, and just a big old patch right here. Just, I'm like, and Bob, and this you, you is Bob. Like I had, you look like I had a, a dreadlock hanging down. Bob would be like, and Bob, this is how Bob answered everything. Girl, Monet, what do you want? Monet, I'm shaving myself, Monet. Jesus. Yeah, I missed the spot. I'm, I, I didn't do it perfectly, Monet. Jesus. <laughs> well, because you be trying to drag me, and Jacob will help me sometimes. Jake, I, I'll like have a camera. And I'll have Jacob come in, and then also when you sh- when you shave your own head, if you ever have someone to help you, they they'll take the clippers and be like, they're so scared. I know. <laughs> uh, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, I'd be like, bitch, dig this shit in, beat this pussy up, like drag this across my head, weed whack this hoe. This hair is tough. I got nigga hair. Go in. <laughs> <laughs> they have some of our patrons. Um, some of our black patrons, we preface it by that. But when they write um, the word nigga, they, 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 don't, they don't spell it out. People, I find it so weird that black folk are so weird about typing the word nigga. Bitch, I love it. I love nigga! What, do they put like, 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 like asterisks and stuff? They'll put like, they put like N asterisk GGA or N Well, I think that's asterisk. actually a, a, a thing. What people are doing is they're used to censoring their stuff on like Instagram and TikTok. Because was that the cat? Was that her? No, no, no. I'm putting more oh. in my lip. Because if they um, write it out, then TikTok will take their videos down. So I think people are just so used to xing things out when they type them. Oh my god, I, that makes so. I put like I've like posted videos and inst- and um, not Instagram. It's, Instagram doesn't really do that, but TikTok they will take your video down if it has the word nigga in it. I'm like really. So people start spelling things funny. You ever see on TikTok they always spell they spell sex s e g g s segs. Or they, or they um, spell um, uh, cum, C-U-Y-M, or they'll spell dick, D-1-C-K, so that, uh, so that TikTok won't clock it. And they have to change it every once in a while because TikTok catches up to people trying to get slick. Yeah, like they took down my ass shaking video. They won't let me say the word nigga. It's just like, TikTok, what are y'all about? I don't like that. You about to get banned like, you about to get Donald Trump uh, banned from all your apps. You keep fucking around, Could you fucking with these imagine? policies. Could you imagine a TikTok did this thing? I would be so, so, so upset. I'm just gagged that he's, uh, I, I tell you the other day, he has been banned from t- uh, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, literally Shopify, Spotify. At this point, his phone is a calculator. <laughs> At this point, Trump has a Texas instrument, bitch. <laughs> if you were banned from all those things, do you think you could cope? Bob, you love your phone. You were always on your phone. I don't know how true that is. I mean, I use my phone uh an average amount. I mean, it's look at Jacob. Quarantine. Look at Jacob. Jacob is literally getting. Jacob is like. Look, Jacob is flinching. Bob, you use your phone a lot. I don't think I use my phone more than most people use their phone. Okay, we're not, I I would say use it more than the average person. I mean, I I, I think that this that this uh, accusation is based in practically nothing. But I mean, <laughs> based in this. two people that are around you well i used to be until you move on the other side of the country but who are around you pretty frequently and are i can't so here's the question so when you come into my house are we watching youtube videos the whole time or am i using my phone which one is it are we watching youtube videos or am i using my phone the whole time which i can't remember when you're not are we playing YouTube smash videos? the whole time or am i on my phone the whole time are we debating stuff not- or am i using my phone which one is it oh my god you what, can- which one is it oh. which one of your truths is, is the real truth she's getting your she's getting defensive your honor I'm just wondering which one of these truths is the real one. That's all I'm, I'm asking. Okay, before the commercial break, can we please... So I, before we started recording, I was like, Bob, we should... By the way, whole- quick thing. We can also look at our phones because I, I think it can tell you how much you've used your phone today. Um, yeah, Jacob has a phone. I mean, uh, can your... Um, uh, this is going to sound shady. Can, does your Android do that? Yes, my phone does do that. Why are you okay. talking? All right. I have used my phone... 
A to Wait, is this the day? Oh, she don't want to say, Your Honor. She's no, backtracking. That's not true. I'm, I just, I'm assuming this is the day. Um, I've used my phone. For, I guess it goes from midnight to midnight. I've used my phone eight hours and 12 minutes today. And it is 5.37. I'm trying to figure out how to check on my phone. I've never actually done this before. Mm. Um, mm. It, mm. In the meantime, I, I'll Google it while we're doing it. Thank settings you, Jacob. and then search for screen time. There also, so um, why Bob is figuring that out? So we're using a new platform to record our podcasts um, by our good friend, our good Judy Jake. Oh, uh, Jada Fair suggested this. We, we use it for build whatever. But now you guys can hear Jacob speak because we, um, when he has interesting, or Jacob or Mitch or whoever is helping us record, when they want to, um, you know, fact check this nigga over here. I mean, we've always had the ability to have. Okay, I, I'm. During our break, I'll figure out my screen time. I don't know. I don't. I don't want to take time. I'm not great with phones all the time. Mm -hmm. What is that? What are you even doing? I don't even get what you're doing. I'm, I mean, I'm going to. I just don't want to. Oh, here it is. Screen time. Okay. I use my phone for six hours and thirty three minutes today. Okay. It is also eight p.m. here, and it's what time by you? Eight thirty. It is. Yeah. I, so so I'm, I'm just saying, I, I've used my time, my phone less than you have today. So but, that's good. No, but you've also had less that's hours in the day. Good. Than, you've had less hours in the day. You're you're three hours behind me. So if I'm we just, use that logic, if we use that logic, we've used our phone for about the same amount of time. Well, you can also check other days, can you? That I don't know. Oh, oh, no, oh, oh, now she's quiet as a church oh, no, mouse, Your no, Honor. No, no, I figured it out. Uh, on this. Well, See, this is why I wanted to do it. With, 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 like, I wanted to actually check it and then come back and then share it so we're not okay, making right. people watch us search our phones. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> You're so ridiculous. Oh, <laughs> I'm Simone, honey. <laughs> also, okay, let's take a quick break and then we get away with Jacob. Is it break time? Oh, no, okay. It's not break oh, time. Okay, well, not break time. All right, so, Bob, so before we start recording, I was saying to Bob that we should do a whole ASMR episode. So, I think we should have, we should do just a little bit of it right now and see if, if we're both into it. And if the, and you guys sound off below in the comments if this would, if a whole episode of ASMR would be dope. Bob, are you ready? I mean, it sounds a little bit exhausting. I don't know, would it be about <laughs> ASMR or is it just us whispering into our mics? Here we go. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, um, um, I don't know how well this sounds, but um, so how was your day, Bob? Um, I don't think it sounds particularly good. I think that you need to actually um, whisper because you're still phonating. So you need to actually whisper instead of doing what you're doing. Because you were actually doing this and I was doing this. Okay, does this sound better? Um, I mean, yeah, it's, do I sound too loud? Y'all gotta jump back a little bit. Yeah, you should, you should turn yours down. Turn the, yeah, I mean, I personally don't think that this is the look. I don't think this is it, Monet. I don't want to do this for... Also, as a vocal major, you know that whispering is bad for you. I, I don't need you to tell me that, bitch. I went to school, I have a fucking degree. You don't tell me what's bad, I fucking know. So then why do you want to ruin my voice? You know my voice already fucked up. Why would you Why would you suggest something like this? This is some kind of... What kind of sabotage bullshit is this? Who are you working for? Okay, stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we cannot do that for an hour, Monet. That is, is my game good? But I, I adjust it. Is it good still? Thumbs up if my game is good. Right, and cool. is mine okay? Um. Well, yes, Bob. Vocal whispering is bad for you, but we just listen. I am willing to sacrifice vocal health because I. And again, I love our listeners so much. So I'm willing to go the extra mile and do things to try and experiment for them. Well, I would like to make it very clear that I'm not willing to sacrifice my health uh, <laughs> for our listeners. Um, I am willing to give them good content, but not at the uh, at the risk of my health. I also, are, are we allowed? To, I mean, I don't know if we're allowed to talk about what you're doing in, in uh, with your uh, um, um, situation. My oh, like right now here. No, with your little Portland fantasy you got going on. Oh, is it a secret? I mean, I, I don't... Also, we should have the fans weigh in. We should have the fans weigh in. Oh, because what? this is something about your little situation, and, and no. it is ridiculous. What, 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 no, no, I'm not... No. We should just ask them. You don't have to do what they say. We're just going to ask them. You can't stop no. me from asking them. So, <laughs> Monet's, trying move, Monet's trying to move to Portland, <laughs> oh, Oregon, God. right? I think that Monet needs to move to L.A. 
That's what or stay her ass in New York City. I think that it would be better for her career. There's TV shows, there's studios, there's so many artists living. There's artists living in Portland too. I'm not trying to shit on Portland. I actually think Portland's a lovely town. I think that in my opinion, like my dream home is going to be in Atlanta. So I'm, I'm trying to buy my first home in LA. And then once I've saved up enough money to get my dream house, my little Tyler Perry uh, mansion. I'm oh, come on, Tyler in. Perry Studios. Must be fucking gonna, nice. <laughs> I mean, I don't have enough money to buy that now, which is why I'm not trying to buy it. But when I do buy a home in Atlanta, it's going to be all that and a bag of chips. I'm going to have an in-law suite or like house on it for my mom to live in, like all that. That's that's my ultimate goal. So I think that Monet should move to L.A. so that we can start working together. Um, and then one day down the road when she's ready to lay her ass down. Get a house in Portland. That's what well, I think. Well, we also said that we were going to keep the. That I was going to keep my apartment in New York, and you and I would split it so that who could, who was ever in New York would stay there. We also that was also a thing. I don't know if you've tossed that idea to the wayside, but I no. I, I was. We, I we, thought we, 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 we did put that on the table as an opportunity. Don't be telling us to wrap it up. We did put that. On, we did yeah. put that on the table, <laughs> nigga. Maybe you should as, start wrapping up before before your boyfriend get pregnant. How about that? <laughs> oh my god, we did discuss that as an option, but we did not solidify it yet. Why are you trying to sneak me into paying half your rent? <laughs> Let's take a break. <laughs> 12 hours and 49 minutes. Okay, we're, we're and we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, S- since we're here on this app uh, talking, I'm oh so my god, to you, be discussing you have a show on HBO. We're here. Say one more time, bitch. Say one more fucking time. Oh, I am so. Oh, I found a way to scan back and forth day by day. So, my screen, t- my daily average screen time is nine hours and 56 minutes. Yesterday, Monet was on her phone for 12 hours. Yesterday, I was on my phone for seven hours. And when they say that, I'm always on my phone. So, Monet, tell me what's good again. Okay, I want to preface this by saying this also. Um, so, I am currently working on a special project with Manila and Peppermint. <laughs> and it was seven hours of recording on my phone using Zoom. So, that's also a factor. I want to go Bitch, back to you are, you are so up to your elbows in I bullshit. Swear. I you swear. Are, uh, Girl, I don't believe you for even a minute second okay, that you were look, out here spilling truth. Going back to December and when I was like working and shit and I wasn't doing this podcast, um, the, the week of December um, 27th, nine hours average. The week of. Oh, it doesn't go back that far. Oh! Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't go. Look, she's I'm back pedaling, Your Honor. <laughs> my God, bitch, you back on my fucking nuts on your chin. So Which everyone you, so says, everyone says, anytime Monet so, is losing an argument, she just says, "Did it see?" You? That's my chin. <laughs> So it, it sounds like what you're saying is your average is about nine hours, which is the exact same amount of time that my average is. So it sounds like we use our phone the same amount. So, for example, on the 10th, eight hours and 50 minutes. On the 9th, nine hours and 53 minutes. On the 8th, seven hours and 58 minutes. So mine, your average is my average. So it sounds like we use our phone the same. So can you, so either, are you going to either tell me to backpedal on your nuts or are you going to um, admit that we, we use our phone the same amount? Allegedly. <laughs> oh, and the children are gagging, honey. <laughs> also, Monet, this is not the episode about phone etiquette, but I will say what Monet does that drives me, and not just me, by the way. What drives me insane? It came up in the in the episode assistant assistant episode is that you use your phone without headphones. You would just turn <laughs> the sound on and just in a car with everyone or in a room with everyone and just act like that's not no true. one can hear your phone. I don't do Monet. it often. I do it. So I do. I do admit. I do it sometimes. It's not. I'm not. I'm not always that hood bitch walking on the street talking on on, on Facetime. Like anyway, girl. I'm not that girl. I think you. It's not Facetime, but like y'all just go back to the one about assistance. Okay. <laughs> you. What you do is you like Monet will open up Instagram and go through stories, and but you. She's skipping through them, so you're hearing a little bit. So it's like I was telling this bitch, making my way downtown, walking, <laughs> bust it. Bust it, bust it. Anyway, so guys, this is a new foundation I'm doing. And it, it, like, hey, we can all and Monet just like over there, like no, and everyone's like, and, and you also answer your phone. Oh in my the god, of rooms, not dragging which, me on the part. You, it drives me crazy when you answer your phone in the middle of her. That is the weirdest shit when people do that to me. I don't answer it on speaker. I but when, when my no, but you has, answer and then you sit in the middle of the room and you just talk in the middle of the room while there's already a conversation going on. So me and Mateo will be talking to you. You'll get a phone call. Then you'll just sit right between us and be like, "Yeah, anyway, so um, child, anyway." <laughs> 
Well, today's not about phones. Today we're talking about Disney. Are you a Disney kid? I grew up a Disney kid. I am a diehard Disney through and through. I grew up watching all the Disney Channel original mu- movies. Um, the 13th Year, uh, uh, Luck of the Irish, Smart House, um, uh, The Color of Friendship. That is such a good one. I, I, mean, a- I haven't even heard. I don't even know what these things are. I was not a what? Disney kid. We could- we, okay, we couldn't afford Disney. We had basic cables. You had to pay extra money for Disney. So I was a Nickelodeon yeah. Cartoon Network kid. Um, we didn't all grow up as privileged as you, Monet. Oh, okay? God. Uh, having Disney is not <laughs> all, privilege. All of our moms don't own cell phone towers, okay? But um, I also did not... You probably did this because you live in the South, and I feel like... And I just like, realized this. Knowing that your mom owns cell phone towers with 5G, she probably caused coronavirus. <laughs> My mom does not own a cell phone tower. Bob is, Bob has been saying you have Bob has been saying this since I. <laughs> since we were in New York when you just met me and all my friends believe that my mom owns these cell phone towers all over the world and my mom's like a multi-trillionaire. Bob, now, doesn't your mom do something with cell phones, like owns a cell phone company or something? Yeah, my mom had a major position at Cable and Wireless in St. Lucia, but Cable and Wireless uh, is not, it, this was a long time, this was back in like when I used to live there. My mom does something else completely different now. Like she worked there or she owned it? What? Your mom worked at Cable and Wireless or she owned Cable and Wireless? She did not own Cable and Wireless, no. Your mom owns 5G Towers. All right. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, but so, but you probably went to, Di- I never, I went to Disney World when I was a full-fledged adult. But I mean, you probably went because it's right there in, in fucking uh, Orlando. No, I have never been. To, I, I've been to, um, there is like a little center outside of Disney World where you can, um, like, they're like restaurants, but you don't, it's not ticket. You don't, have, you don't have to pay to get in. It's oh. just like. Right out, it's owned by Disney World, but it's right outside of Disney World, and you can go there. You can go shopping, and you can go looking for stuff. So I did that one time with Luis for a part of a web series, but I've never been to Disney World. I've never been to Disneyland. Um, really? I, I would go to six. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't go to Disney World. I would go to Six Flags Over Georgia. Six Flags Over Georgia. I remember the theme song because remember that year I lived. I lived in in um in um Gwinnett County. That was when. Remember that fucking <laughs> that fucking Six Flags man with the glasses, the old man with the. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, but I went when I first went to which one is the one in Florida is Disney World. The Florida's Disney World, uh, LA is Disneyland. Actually, it's not LA, it's Anaheim. Anaheim is Disneyland. Um, Florida's Disney World, but apparently the one in um Japan in Tokyo, yeah, is in okay let me tell you what, what I, okay i, I want to ask you before i get into this i'm gonna ask you a question are adults who are obsessed with disney weird I don't is think that weird i don't think they're weird we both you know, know one get, adult that's really obsessed with disney world oh todrick we don't even need to say because todrick <laughs> says it in every like he's i mean two things disney and the wizard of oz he's like yeah. obsessed obsessed and there yeah. is a stigma i think about adults who love disney world which i don't is that weird i mean listen i'm an adult who plays super smash brothers my boyfriend loves pokemon i mean i don't think it's weird but there is a stigma against disney gays disney gays yeah um yeah i don't i don't personally think it's weird um i mean because i think because disney's so closely associated with childlike things like the thing that this is i think this is why michael jackson weirded a lot of people out because michael jackson he was obsessed with like youth and children and like being a boy forever so i think that's what people associate disney with which is why it's weird to people they're like if you like disney and you like the whole childlike thing then you must be into kids or something i think that that's where their mind immediately goes i mean i will i mean that's that that it's not far-fetched i think what we might be saying is like people think it is weird for adults to be into childlike things right. as, as if like the adult themselves they're immature or something um, I will say this. I would be lying if I was saying everyone in our group was not screaming into the unknown. When 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 Frozen 2 came out, we were going like, everyone was going off. Um, okay, that being said, I want to talk about this. I don't think people realize how large Disney World is. What, like, okay, you mean like, do you mean the, like, the, like Disney World, like the, like the figurative the, the thing? Park, or like, oh, the, the, the park. Like the physical place. Yeah, so okay. you, Manhattan can fit inside of Disney World. Really? More than, like, let's say one and a half, or like one and uh, three quarters of a Manhattan can fit inside of Disney World. Disney World is massive. Also, God. people don't realize how that Manhattan is also very small. Manhattan's 14 miles top to bottom. I know, that's and, nothing. 
People don't realize Manhattan is five miles or four four to five miles east to west Wide, yeah. and 14 miles north to south. Yeah. It's not quite. It's actually more like this. So it's like kind of north south. But anyway, yeah. um, so man, it's a combination of the fact that Manhattan is small and Disney World is fucking massive. Disneyland can fit into Disney World something like 25 or 50 times. Like Disney World is huge. And they also own... Not only that, but they also own big chunks of land around Disney World. Right, that, for like parking and shit. Not just for parking, but like they own the swamps and stuff for like whether or not they want to like expand and like Disney bought it all like so they can expand in the future, word. but also they can have no neighbors. No one can compete. No one can be in that space. They oh, own word. that chunk of like, I mean, Anaheim is a big part of uh, Disney World is a big part of Anaheim. It's like the biggest attraction in, right. in Anaheim, but Disney World itself is essentially a town. Yeah. It, it does, I'm, well, I was going to say it doesn't have its own um, zip code, but I'm sure it does. Of course it does. I mean, if, it's, if it's, it's wild. I mean, it has to have its own zip code. Jacob, could you please Google uh, the square mileage of Disney World and the, and the square mileage of Manhattan so we could get... But also, Manhattan is so... Like, Manhattan can fit in Long Island yeah, yeah, something Manhattan like 10 or 20 huge. times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but but the idea, imagine, but you and I have been in Manhattan. You're in Manhattan right now. Imagine a park. You, you don't have to imagine it. A park that is the size of Manhattan. Yeah. That that's is substantial. wild. That now, what is, is wild. What, now, what is Universal? Is, is Universal bi- as big as Disney World? It can't be. It just can't be. Universal is pretty it big. It can't be. I, I mean, yeah, I reckon. I also don't know if, if, uh, if I don't know if, Disney World is actually in Orlando proper because because uh, Disneyland is not in L.A. It's in Anaheim, which is I'm right pretty sure LA. I'm pretty sure Disney World is in. I think Universal and Disney World are in Orlando proper. I'm pretty sure because when we so when we did work the world, uh, America, uh, fall 2000, what that was, 18 or 19, whatever that was. You know, we got like the fucking superstar treatment, bitch. Like, you roll up to fucking Universal Studios, we get off the fucking bus, and like they give you like the treatment. They like give you like a little uh, pass thing, and you, we go through the exits. Like that. That's how I want to do a theme park every time I go. That shit was everything because we all know going to a like a theme park like Disney World, the the the, the part that's the suckiest is standing in line for rides. So. Having that, that was the first time I've ever, ever, ever experienced that in my life. And mama, I would be lying if I did not say I felt like fucking Beyonce. I was like, yeah. Was I mean, there was a time at Universal Studios where I did get like the super extra pass because someone, at the, I tweeted, I was at the park and I tweeted out like, I'm at, I'm at Universal in, in LA and I would love it, blah, blah, blah. And then some gay found me and was like, shh, purse first and slid me some pass. <laughs> And bitch, I was cutting lines like I was fucking Kamala Harris walking into a Senate to a Senate meeting, being like, "Hey, bitches, it's me." No, bitch, you were you, you were you were cutting lines like like you were Bianca Del Rio at a fucking Christmas party, okay? Lines, Baba. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Jacob, did you find out the square mileage of Disney World? Oh yeah, I see the chat. Oh, work. Oh, oh Jacob, God. Jacob, Jacob, Jacob been going off in the chat. Jacob like, y'all, well, hey, niggas, I got... Oh, Jacob, I'm kidding, Jacob. <laughs> no. Did not say that. He did not Jacob say that. Jacob didn't say that. No, so get this. Get, this is crazy. Disney World is 72 square miles, and yeah. Manhattan is only 22 square miles. Oh, my that God. Three, three times. Manhattans can fit inside of Disney World. That is... But imagine Manhattan next to Manhattan next to Manhattan, That's and then trying good. to walk around that. That's what... That is wild. Yeah, that's, that's wild. Pretty, that's pretty crazy, Roberta. Um, what do you think about this uh, thing where where people are talking about the fact that not just Disney, but Disney is one of the they're one of the main proponents won't let black protagonists be black protagonists for the whole movie. I, yeah, they they always like um an, an animal or a creature. Like think of Princess and the Frog. She was like a frog for like sixty percent of the movie, and they have like a bunch of examples. I've seen that too. Um, so never... also recently, so was... yeah. He was a cat for for a majority of the movie. I never thought and about then, it. And then and then and then uh Tina Fey was the black guy. Oh yeah, not Tina Fey doing um a cartoon blackface. Black oh, voice. Shit. Black voice. Black voice. Oh my god. Well, you know there's also that lady um I forget her name. She does a lot of she's 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 a prominent voice. She's a white woman who has a lot of voices and like they like during the whole Black Lives Matter movement, it was she she voiced two Disney characters that were black and she was like I can't do this anymore. Like I cannot be voicing black characters is so inappropriate, which I never thought about before this whole movement. But um, I never thought about the anime. Wait, thing. did you watch Soul? 
Yeah, I watched Soul. I thought it was good. It wasn't Did amazing. Did you know that the bad guy in Soul, there was a woman voicing the character. The bad guy. Who's the bad? Who's the the, the little uh, the 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 little accountant who counts everything. Oh, oh, he wasn't. He wasn't a. He was. They see there, there wasn't really a villain in Soul. He wasn't bad. He was just doing. He was literally doing his job. He's like you. Which he was on the right. This fucking nigga, he's dead. Go to the place where all the dead people oh go. God. Not you sound like a a, a blue lives matter. He's just, <laughs> they're just doing their jobs. They're just doing their jobs, people. Listen, I'm a very busy woman, and I'm always working on different projects. But one of my favorite things to do is to make music. Yes, you heard my newest song. Um, but believe me, I've got some great new things just getting started, okay? Now, I'm always interested in how other artists compose and produce their own songs, and I've gotten really into Masterclass for learning about how different artists make their music. Alicia Keys has a class, and I absolutely loved it. It was really fun, informative, and I was blown away with the depth of knowledge and the quality of the experience. With Masterclass, you can learn from the world's best minds anytime, anywhere, and at your own pace. You can learn how to cook from Gordon Ramsay, improve your acting skills with Natalie Portman or Natalie Hirschlag. Um, and you can learn writing from Issa Rae with over 100 classes from a range of world-class instructors. That thing you've always wanted to do is closer than you ever thought it could be. Masterclass is accessible on your phone, web, or smart TV. Offering classes on a wide variety of topics, all taught by world-class masters at the top of their fields. Learn how to do anything from finish your screenplay to make Michelin star-worthy scrambled eggs. Whatever you're interested in, there's a masterclass for you. I highly recommend you check it out. This holiday, give one annual membership and get one for free. Go to masterclass.com slash rivalry today. That's masterclass.com slash rivalry. Terms apply. This holiday season, I want to give the gift to my loved ones that makes them feel special and unique, just like the relationship we share. That's why I'm giving everyone I care about StoryWorth. StoryWorth is an online service that helps you and your loved ones preserve precious memories and stories for years to come. It is a thoughtful and meaningful gift that connects you to those who matter the most to you. Every week, StoryWorth emails your relative or your friend a thought-provoking question of your choice from their vast pool of possible options. Each unique prompt asks questions you never thought to ask, like, what's the bravest thing you've ever done in your life? Or, or if you could see the future, what would you want to find out? After one year, StoryWorth will compile all of your loved ones' stories, including photos, into a beautiful keepsake book that you'll be able to share and revisit for generations to come. Reading the weekly stories helps you connect with your loved ones no matter how near or far apart you are. With StoryWorth, I am giving those I love a thoughtful, personal gift from the heart and preserving their memories and stories for years to come. Go to StoryWorth.com slash rivalry and save $10 on your first purchase. That's StoryWorth.com slash rivalry to save $10 on your first purchase. Listen, my mom and I live far away and it can be a struggle to stay connected. So I get her a skylight frame. I can send new photos to her every single day. It's a really easy way for her to see what I'm up to and for us to stay connected. Now, for a really special gift for those special people in your life, you got to check out the Skylight Frame. Skylight Frame is a photo frame that you can update instantly by email from anywhere. A great way to feel close to those you love, even when you're separated. Sending photos to Skylight is effortless. Everyone in the family can just email them to your personal Skylight email address, and they'll pop up in seconds. 100% satisfaction guaranteed. If you don't love your Skylight, they'll offer you a full refund. It's so simple that even my non-tech savvy mom could set it up and use it. Now, as a special offer, you can get $15 off your purchase of a Skylight Frame when you go to skylightframe.com and enter code RIVALRY. That's right. You get $15 off your purchase of a Skylight Frame. Just go to skylightframe.com and enter code RIVALRY. That's S-K-Y-L-I-G-H-T-F-R-A-M-E.com. Promo code RIVALRY. Bob, Bob, am I, Bob, um, the guy, uh, fucking Jamie Foxx died, and he was supposed to go into the thing. He wanted to go back to Earth, and he wanted to play this fucking gig, and the guy is like, listen, I'm just literally, you are breaking the the laws, you need to go, to the, I do sound like, what? <laughs> The moment you're like, but you're breaking the. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Monet started about Monet's like he he died and then he was just breaking the law and blue, blue lives matter. Blue lives matter. Oh shit! <laughs> oh my god! Uh, oh no! I, oh my god! But was he? Now you got me to think. Now I'm thinking all crazy. No, I, but that's not the point. But I was in, I was just impressed. So I look up this 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 uh, this actor. She's from uh, New Zealand, and she does these like she just this like. I don't think she identifies as non-binary or gender fluid, but she, the character that she plays, she plays like 
separate genders are like, it's really impressive. I remember just being like, oh my God, this is so interesting to hear this woman. Her name is Rachel, Rachel House. House. So Rachel House. Yeah, I was just looking that up on my own and I just happened to know that. And, and I, was, I was talking, I mean, it, I, don't, I just thought it was really interesting. I just remember being like, this is really, I, I was fucked up when I realized that she played the character. What's, what's the character's name? There were, there were two characters in the, in, in the ethereum. Everyone had one name. And then everyone else had, it's like, it was like Bob and Rob or like Paul and Saul or Bill and Jill. It was everyone there had one of two names. Jerry, Jerry and Terry, Terry oh, Bob. It's Jerry and Terry. <laughs> bitch, you read it in the chat the same time I did, bitch. No. Um, okay. So who is the best Disney princess in your honest opinion? I mean. I know who mine is. Ariel, bitch. Ariel is, is just everything. Ariel is. No, the. The shit. Why? Why? What, what's the so weird about Ariel? First of all, the red hair, the red hair is popping. And red hair look good on black people and white people. And, you know, er, er, red hair transcends race, I feel. I st- when I see red hair, I still think Rihanna. Even though she has not done that for almost eight, nine years, yeah. I still think. When I see clown red hair, I think Rihanna. Do you know, you, you know, how, you know how, how, how Gen Zers do this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, t- it's, t- it's two fingers. No, on TikTok, it'd be one to be like, they, they, they were like this. And they, and they also do this. Yeah, this. <laughs> what? And I, hate, and I hate when they do this. <laughs> that shit, by the way, if, if you want to see what we're doing, you can please subscribe to our Patreon. And, you know, um, on our Patreon, someone commented, they're like, I'm literally only here because I had to see Bob Simone impression. <laughs> <laughs> And, and let me do right now. It does not disappoint. I, good, I'm gonna do a little good. TikTok. Simone walking around the house doing everyday things. Simone checking the mail. <laughs> oh my god! I was gonna do that TikTok too. That's so funny. Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! Okay, okay you're Disney you princess. Princess. I said Ariel. Oh, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna plead a case against Ariel before I say who mine is. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. First of all, I feel like Ariel is. I do like her naiveness. That is nice. You know what I mean? But I feel like just a lot of stuff is just happening to Ariel. Like, she's just being swept up in all the madness. Whereas I feel like Pocahontas is a bad badass. bitch, honey. She is. This is like, true. Pocahontas is not. But when she sings, um, you think you think you own whatever land you land on, nigga. You think, <laughs> you think the earth is just some dead thing you can claim, nigga? Wiggle. But I know every rock and tree and creature has a life, has a spirit, has a name. What's good, white cracker ass motherfucker? <laughs> but also, like, Pocahontas is the first Disney princess actually actively fighting white supremacy. <laughs> She is. Name she another is. Disney princess who is actively fighting white supremacy. Like, she is fucking up these colonizers. <laughs> I mean, she did fall in love. I mean, she did end up, you know, falling know, in love these, with John Smith. This fucking blonde hair, blue eye niggas, they be, they be, they be, they be um, snatching you up. Um, well, okay, and Bob, with, with, with Ariel's naivete. Well, I'm not done. I'm not done. Also, Pocahontas has weapons. She knows how to use weapons. She is incredibly athletic. And what do you, she was, what do you call a dingle hopper? A dingle hopper is a fucking weapon, bitch. E- oh, who is going, who's going to hurt? A, a eel? Yes. Some, uh, uh, Which literally was, the, the, the eels were literally trying to kill her, and she's like, "Motherfucker, I got my motherfucking um, dingo hopper. What's good?" And before Moana was the thick princess, it was Pocahontas had thighs that could crush an acorn. <laughs> <laughs> Moana is a bad bitch too. Um, and I think, and I what, also think, sorry, I'm not done. I, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm on Pocahontas shit now. And Colors of the Okay, Colors of the Wind is just such a good song. It's do just, you like Vanessa Williams' version? I mean, I love Vanessa, Vanessa Williams sing. Yeah, first of all, I've seen Vanessa Williams sing it live, which is amazing. Work. Was it not Close of the Wind? Was it a different song? Um, Vanessa Williams was singing. Um, why did look? Yeah, she she was singing Close of the Wind. I got to sing it live. She was the. She, I think she was also the first black woman to ever sing like a Disney song. Work. Was she really Vin- a- Vanessa Williams? I think she may be like the, to see like because what happens is every movie mm-hmm. they have the main like the main song and they do a pop version of it so celine dion did beauty and the beast um uh demi lovato did into the unknown or not into the, uh let it go um demi lovato uh, no that's not demi lovato that's adina menzel did let it go <laughs> no adina menzel did the official version for the movie but then the pop version demi lovato did oh 
Yeah, right. so so there's always you know there there's like right, 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 the right, person right. who sings the one from the movie and the person who sings the one from no Leah the, Salonga was the was the second one. Mulan. No, Leah Salonga did not do the pop version. No, Christina Aguilera and Christina Aguilera is Puerto Rican. Don't be trying to dismiss her Puerto her, her ethnicity. I said the first black Christina Aguilera is first of all Christina Aguilera's last name is Aguilera because of her stepdad. Not because of her. Her no, stepdad's she's name is Aguilera. Okay, oh my God. If you look at look into Christina Aguilera, Christina Aguilera is Puerto Rican. Her mom is white, her dad is Puerto Rican. In her whole script album, she has like nine um Spanish songs because she and she she had a whole thing about her connecting to her heritage. Okay, speaking Spanish doesn't make you Puerto Rican. No, but she went up, but she said the reason why she did it on strip. Jacob, because- is Christina Aguilera Puerto Rican? Please tell this while we while we talk about this. What I'm saying is Vanessa Williams yes. is the first black woman. Google it, bitch. Uh, I don't, don't want to trust your memory. Um, but what I'm saying is, I don't think that, um, I think that Vanessa was the first black woman to do a pop version of a Disney song. Got it. Um, Which is like really, and so I got to see her sing it live. I also got to see her sing. Um, I mean, anyway, she's great. Vanessa Williams, if you get a chance to see Vanessa Williams live, you have to see When it. she did super, really super duper secret celebrity drag race, she was so fucking good as a drag queen. Like, but to oh my be fair, she's, she's done theater for so long. Like she, for all intents and purposes, Vanessa Williams is kind of, she has a drag queen. Uh, 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 I mean, why is anyone shocked that she won? She literally won Miss America. <laughs> <laughs> Like she literally won Miss America like 35 years ago, so no one is shocked that Vanessa Williams won Secret Celebrity Drag Race. Also, I was so glad to see, to see Tammy Roman because I'm a, I, I used to watch Basketball Wise. Tammy Roman is so hood. I just seeing her do Drag Race, I was like, Tammy Roman is about to pop Michelle. I was like, let Michelle let, let Michelle say one thing left. Tammy Roman is jumping off that stage and popping Michelle Visage. Have you ever seen Basketball Wise with Tammy Roman? She's wild. I love her so much. I've never, I've never. I guess this is Chris Aguilera Puerto Rican question is taking a lot of research because Jacob does not have the answer yet. Um, um, I, I, I've never seen an episode of Basketball Wives. Oh, ever. it's so good. Who had, like, why, do every, why do everyone love the 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 like? What is it about the princess that people connect to more than in, or the villains? People like the villains and the princesses, but I feel like Disney has because everyone very, else like, is collateral damage. Who cares about the princess? Fuck them. I mean, there are some great like, for example, I mean. I think Simba is a great character, but for some reason, no one simps for Simba. Like, people go crazy for Lion King, but it's not about Simba. It's about Scar. I don't think that's true. If there was a stand culture for one character from the Lion King, it's Scar. It is not Simba. I don't think that's true. Then who are the one, who's the one from Lion King they love? Simba. People love Simba. I don't know where is this. People don't, don't like Simba. Nobody give a fuck about Simba. Don't nobody give a fuck that's about because, Simba. That's because you're a real life Disney villain. <laughs> In my life, Bob is the scar and I'm the Simba. Bob is prepared for the mar- for the cool of a century. <laughs> Be prepared for the murkiest sky. Meticulous planning, tenacity spanning. Decades of denial is simply why I owe. Um, what? Who? Who is the hottest Disney prince in your opinion? I don't. Oh, know. Aladdin! Aladdin is the sexiest person from the Disney franchise. Mm, I don't know if that's true. I don't. Girl, Aladdin lives in. If Aladdin lived in Williamsburg, has some ta- some tattoos. Well, that's going to say there is a there is a Twitter. He has. I, I need. I need to find. I don't know what it was. I. I. I didn't follow it for whatever reason. You know, you don't follow. It. Anyway, he does. He like. He's this cartoonist, and he redraws animations of the Disney princes fucking each other, and it's so good. The Aladdin one. <laughs> <laughs> the Aladdin is Aladdin. He does like uh, the last one I saw. It was, it was it was Aladdin and um the guy from the guy from Pocahontas. And Aladdin is is fucking him. Uh, they're both uncut, hung, long, big ass dicks. I was like, this is. I'm not into like hentai or uh or, or the other stuff, but it was pretty hot. Well, they gonna get you if you, if you don't pronounce it right. I know. I'm you, scared. Girl. I'm scared. Hentai. I think it's hentai, but it's. I'm gonna find a sentence to you. It's fucking hot. I'm like work. Uh, Jacob, have you, have you given up on whether or not Chris Aguilera is Puerto Rican? She is. She is Puerto Rican. Thank you. Thank you. So, are you are, are you going to apologize to me and Christina? Let me let me call her real quick. <laughs> hey! <laughs> um, if you if she's Puerto Rican, she's Puerto Rican. Um, anyway, but that being said, I still, I mean, if it's not Latin, then who is it? Um, to me, I, I'm trying to think. Um, honestly, I think Hercules is kind of hot. I know. 
He is, you know, very, uh, you know, that, but he's hot. Aladdin is too skinny for me. You know, I, I, I just, I feel like I am too fucking big to have be fucking anybody that's that skinny. I feel like I'm going to break them. I feel like I'm a big ass bull trying to mount this fucking <laughs> bean ball. It's just not for me. So, but Aladdin, he, I mean, not Aladdin. Um, Hercules was buff. He was tall. He was strong. So Hercules could, you know, like you said, I can stick my big brown round on Hercules and he'd be like, oh, just with a finger, just like. Why do you love why do you love Hades so much? You're like obsessed. I'm not obsessed with Hades. What are you talking about? Hades is, is Hades not one of your favorite villains. You talk about Hades. You used to thought he was you said you thought he was so funny. You were you are you love Hades. I mean I like, character. I like I like Hades, but I'm not I think I just like Greek, Greek mythology. I grew up like religiously watching Xena and um Hercules, which by the way, did you know that fucking Kevin Sorbo is a fucking Trump ass the house down nigga? I cannot believe it. my whole childhood is fucked up but you're uh, back off the mic a little sorry i'm so <laughs> mad kevin sorbo is a trumper and it fucking it wrecked me it wrecked me i wanted to well, add, that, i wanted to that's add a, it is like, upsetting to find out why, when you find out that like someone you like oh that's why folks was uh that's why people online were were making fun of kevin sorbo they were saying i guess hercules that now it makes sense i, I didn't realize that he first of all he did a really good job so he did a really good i mean one of the, my favorite gifs online to share is one of hercules Bursting into like red flames and then smoothing his hair and being like, "I'm cool, I'm cool." <laughs> I haven't seen that one. They're fucking no, it's, it's really good. But then, but then, what was funny? So Zena, um, uh, Lucy Lawless, like retweeted him and like gave him the ultimate shade. I was like, "Yes, Lucy Lawless, I live." Who, okay, who is the best Disney villain then? The best Disney, I think Ursula. Ursula, Ursula is the fucking shit. That's why I love The Little Mermaid so bad, because I love Ariel and I love Ursula. Ursula has such a great song. Like, what Disney villains have a great song? Ursula? Scar. Ursula and Scar. Scar's no. song is great. The, 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 the Princess and the Frog, to be shared, the Princess and the Frog had terrible music. All the music was bad. And Drag I, her. It was. It was not good. I'm not a fan of the Princess and the Frog music, which is very disappointing. Um, but um, yeah, Ursula and Scar have the two. Nick, can you name anyone else? Any the other ones that are also? They need to rename that movie to "The Princess Is the Frog." That's what they <laughs> meant to fucking rename that movie. Can you name the Princess Disney Is the songs? Frog? Damn it! What what other Disney Do villain songs that you that you know off the top of your head? Um, I guess that's really it, huh? I I mean, the, uh, um, I mean, it's a little offensive. It's not a little. It is offensive. Um, but uh, I am Siamese, if you please, from um, from uh, the 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 dog and the hound, the lady and the lady and the tramp. Oh, I don't even know that. I didn't even Not know the that. dog and the hound. They're, they're, they're the two Siamese cats, and they go, "I am Siamese, if you please." I've never seen. They're these two cats. I've never seen they're these two cats that are causing trouble in the house, and then the dog gets in trouble. Got it. Got it. Got it. But I think that the best Disney villain is got to be Scar, and it's he because he's just the most. Of, okay, there are three answers. Who's the coolest? It is going to be Ursula, who's the most effective at being a villain is Scar. Villain is out. Scar has, is, I, I think, one of the only villains that we saw fully kill someone on screen. Like, he fully murdered someone on screen. I saw this TikTok today about this guy. He, like, I saw it about how Scar ate. I saw it. Yeah, I was like, oh shit. So, if you, <laughs> we'll try to, like, post, maybe post the link on our Patreon. But what it is is that he, like, does the math. And he's saying, so you know how um, uh, Mufasa falls into all the all the things, all um, the stampede, and the, then, the, the antelope. Um, but the body isn't found, and then he's doing research, and it turns out no one, there's no animal in the animal kingdom that hunts and kills lions because they are. Well, hyenas eat. What he said was hyenas eat lions sometimes, but the only other animal that really the animal that eats lions the most is other lions. lions. And then there's that scene where where Scar is playing with the skull. And then he like does he googles what a uh, what a lion skull is, and so I think that the movie is alluding that Scar kills Mufasa and then eats him, which was so crazy. Yeah, it was really wild. Um, maybe we can find the TikTok down the line, but like, girl, that not that missing Scar uh, eat, eating thing. But anyway, I think that he he's the most effective because he actually I'll tell you after this. Okay. So what I'm saying is he. Scar actually, in terms of who's the coolest Ursula, who's the most effective Scar, who's the most powerful, hands down, Jafar. This is not up for discussion. Maleficent. Oh yeah, Maleficent. Oh my God, Mal oh my God, Maleficent. I love Maleficent. I love Angelina's Maleficent. I know people don't think so. 
I think she's a great actress, and I fucking love both the Maleficent movies. Oh yeah, she's the most powerful. One hand, she just be like, Tick-a-lick, Tick-a-lick. yeah. I only saw Maleficent two. I didn't see Maleficent one. Um, but I mean, the fact that this bitch also she's the most petty, and I know everyone's saying it's not about the party. It seems like she didn't get invited to a party, and then she decided to poison a baby. It's not. Well, <laughs> I need to watch the first one. It's just, there's a whole history you're missing out on, babe. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm saying before they made Maleficent, when you had to go off just Snow White, it looks like this. I mean, not Snow White, uh, Sleeping, Beauty. Sleeping Beauty. It looks like a story about this woman who didn't get invited to a party, and then she decided to poison. But now the whole poison the, one. the whole Disney landscape is like so like mixed up because now Pixar like a lot of since when Disney bought Pixar I think it's like over ten years now like so now it's all like Disney Pixar but before they were they were competing and Disney obviously had classic movies but Pixar was like so innovative in the animation like Toy Story and all that stuff so uh, but now that Pixar is in the mix Disney definitely has better quality movies I would I would say. Yeah, I mean, when you take the best of both, the best of both worlds, mix them together, maybe the day that Android buys Apple, we'll have like some super phone that everyone can agree on. Oh my God, uh, probably. What do you? Could you imagine? Remember that deal when um someone's or Samsung sued Apple or Apple sued Samsung, or whichever one it was. But I think Samsung had to pay Apple like a couple million dollars, and they were so petty. Speaking of petty, Maleficent, as Samsung showed up with trucks. Of the millions of dollars in quarters or five or that's or, not that can't that, be a real story. That, that is, sounds like a, yes, that is real. I did a whole story about it on exchange rate. I was like, that is the. I was like, if I ever have to pay Bob anything, I will be so petty. Remember this like alleged tens of thousands of dollars I owe you. I'm showing. I'm delivering. You do. That shit. <laughs> People can, can y'all. If there's any fan out there who wants to go through sleuth <laughs> through our <laughs> bets and tell me how much money money owes me, it, I, I'll give you a percent. I'll give you ten percent. I would, I would be so petty. I would pay that shit to you in quarters. I don't think you would. I don't think you would have the gumption to get that amount of quarters to me. I mean, I'm sure there's a way you can do it with your bank. I'm sure you can do that with your bank. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure Chase delivers quarters for people. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure. I'm almost positive Chase delivers quarters for people who want them. Wait, so I want to go back. So, so you did not watch Hannah Montana, which is a Waverly Place. None of that stuff. Disney TV, no. I, I the the only thing I saw that was Disney TV was the first High School Musical. Uh, I, that's ironically I did not see that. Well, I remember doing I saw High School Musical because I was um I was doing musicals with kids at the time, mm-hmm. and all the kids kept being like, "Are we doing a High School Musical?" And I was like, "No, first of all, you're not in high school, so why would we be doing a High School Musical?" They're, no, they're like, "No, it's High School Musical." I was I think I was 19 or 18 at the time. They were like, "It's called High School Musical," and I was like, "I've I've never heard of High School Musical." So I went to Walmart. This is how long ago this was. This is back when Netflix used to actually mail you. I DVDs. remember that. I remember that. That listen, money. There are Gen Zs today who don't know that Netflix used to mail you DVDs to your house. I know. Before this was before streaming. Before everything was streaming. Yeah. That is, and used to the they would come in a little envelope, red envelope, and then you would. Yep, and then you would mail them back. I cannot believe they used to do business. That is so archaic. Anyway, so I went to Walmart, and I bought um, High School Musical on DVD, and then I went home, and I watched it in my hotel room in, in I think it was in Texas. I think it was in Odessa, Texas. Oh, my Look, God, Odessa, Texas. Musical. That is where um, the cheerleader lives in Heroes. Did you know that? Did you watch Heroes? I did have watched every single episode of Heroes, and that was a show that really... It was went great. Off the rail. It went off the rail. It got it got ridiculous. Season one was great. Season one and two were great. Then it got great. It got out weird. But that's because do you know who's such a great actress? Ali Larder. She is so fuck. She is such a great. She's a, such a great. Is she the cheerleader? No, she was. Um, she had like her. She was that kind of rogue. She had like ice power. She had. She had all wow. kind of powers. She was kind of like the rogue of the of, of the franchise. I was obsessed with Mohinder. I was obsessed with Mohinder. He was cute. He was hot. Oh, so hot! I was like Mohinder could. Get it. And Hero was cute too. But Mohinder. Do you think that Beyonce is embarrassed that she was that Mohinder? <laughs> Do you think that Beyonce was embarrassed that she was in part of such a bad live action movie? She doesn't care. No. I don't think Beyonce gives a fuck. I mean all right, let's talk about the let's talk about the remakes. Can we talk about the booze? We need to, the remakes are like what's good? Like I don't know. Honestly, why like why? 
I know. I don't know. I think I because mean, this is the culture we're in. Everything's going bitch. Sex in the City is coming back. Every show from our childhood is coming back. They want to reboot and remake. It's like the thing to do. And um and and I'm in seemingly like it's like how could you mess up Lion King? But I think we kind of talked about it before when we talked about movies and stuff in the past. But it was because they were too real. The the, the animals looked too real. It just took away. It it just detracted from the specialness of the animated thing. Not only is that, but they also weren't like they didn't have like they weren't showing emotion. The actors were giving a lot of emotion, and the lines were like my 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 like <laughs> like like, an, like animatronics at Disney World, like bah, 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 yeah, bah, yeah, bah, bah. so it it was the, like I needed some more cartoony. I would rather have them done a complete reanimation yeah. than doing whatever the hell that was they did, and also. The Shanzi deep dark past story was too much. I don't even remember that. It was was too- that a thing? So Shanzi was originally played by Whoopi, Whoopi Goldberg. Goldberg. In the in the live action, Shanzi was not funny. She, like Shanzi was not. She was not telling jokes. She was not cracking anybody up. Shanzi also had like a rivalry with Nala, and she was like, it was like dark. She had like her face was all fucked up and shit, and she was like, it was intense. I was like, this is y'all really. Took a dark route with a uh, with Shanzi. This 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 is a little much. This is a little much for me. Shanzi. Uh, also and also that, that that weird scene where she was where I don't, yes when she was selling the fucking like shanzitizer or whatever it was so weird. Oh my gosh! Shut the fuck up. And they also and also uh, Beauty and the Beast was not good. Oh yeah, that was not. That was, I forgot that remake even happened. Girl, Beauty and the Beast was and also the the children are dragging Mulan. Yeah, you well, you know, she's another Mulan. one. The Mulan, she's a big trumper. She's a big Blue Lives Matter trumper lady. Oh, well, well yeah. The, so she got into a big thing because she she kept being like, leave the cops in, in Hong Kong alone. Leave them alone. Well, you know, you know what I she said? She, you know what she said? What she said? They're just doing their job. <laughs> Oops. Well, you know, I was one of the fucking idiots. I was home. It was they got me with the COVID girl. Like I'm home. I'm just gonna buy Mulan, and I'm so mad. I spent waste of that fucking thirty five. Did you buy it, or did you wait for it to be free? I did not buy it, but Jacob, I didn't watch it. Jacob, uh, Nick, and Mateo all went downtown to Mateo's house and watched it together. I think they all pitched in and bought it together. Um, <laughs> y'all bought it individually. Whatever. I mean, they watch it. I don't know. Someone they, they they fucking watch it. I mean, Jacob also made us pay for Nick so he could watch Cats. I will never forget that. We were like Nick. Nick. Nick wanted to watch Cats with us, but Nick's like, I'm not paying for Cats. It was like ten dollars. I'm not paying that. And then Jacob was like, I'll buy it for you. So we bought Nick Cats, <laughs> which is crazy. Which is but so I heard that Mulan was, was he like, did you, did you not like it? Um, no, it wasn't good. It was too serious. Again, Mulan has such iconic songs like this is what you give me to work with well honey i've seen worse or mr i'll make a man out of you and there's so many wait can i try it can i try it somehow i'll make a man out of you oh my god God. Uh, okay first of all i mean i don't it is offensive that this white man playing this role but when i tell you dunny osmond killed that oh he like earned it dunny like, like, <laughs> Dunny Osmond <laughs> fucked that up. Now, here's a weird thing. I don't know why they did not cast Jackie Chan to play that role. Because he can sing. And Jackie Chan is, a, is an opera singer. Jackie Chan went to college and studied opera, and then yeah. he just also just randomly happened to be a great martial artist. Yeah. So, I'm first. I'm a Jackie Chan stan. I'm a Jackie stan. I watched his cartoon growing up. I oh love God, Rush it was Hour. Such a good cartoon. I love Rumble in the Bronx. I love. I love. I actually. I remember crying. Crying when Jet Li. When Jet Li became like oh, the big deal. Oh, Jet Li. Like, I remember dope. being. I remember being upset that like, oh my God, this guy's gonna take Jackie Chan's thing. And I, I actually cried. I was a kid. I was like, "This guy cannot ruin Jackie." Like this, like is legitimately, or are, are you are you being extra? Like, are you? Did you see? I literally, cry? I'm, I was literally crying. I, mean, I was a kid, but I literally cried. Well, do you know why black people loved love Jet Li so much? It wasn't because because of a uh, Ashanti. Uh, no, no, um, not Aaliyah. Ashanti, um, um, Aaliyah. Yeah, Romeo must die. When he did Romeo, Romeo must die. 
Black folk like, all right, we we are here for this Asian nigga. We here, we here, we like you. Know, you know that, uh, also, Jackie Chan, by the way, did sing I'll Make a Man Out of You in three languages. And was it good? Yes. It's, it, I think he did uh, Mandarin. I think he did Japanese, and I think he did Cantonese. I mean, we, we can figure out which ones Jackie Chan sang, but Jackie Chan did sing it, so I was like, the y'all should have just hired him from the beginning. You know Jet Li's, like, can't do that stuff anymore. Like, he can't, like, do martial arts? Like, he's, like, fucked up. Like, he got sick, and he's, like, fucked up now. Like, really? if you Google an image, if you Google, like, Jet Li now, oh my God, I'm he's, like, right now. he's, like, he's, like, not well, girl. Oh, no. I used to like, love he, Jet Li. Like, he had some sort of, like, a disease that made him, like, age faster, and he just, like, he's not doing well anymore. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I see him. I mean, he's still really cute, though. I'll, I'll hit it. No, yeah, I'm not saying he's not cute, but he had, but he has he had a condition. Jet Li is no longer, uh, but he had this whole net netizens. He looks no fucking hot without hair though. Actually, I don't know what it is, but he has no. He looks well. Hyper hyper oh yeah hyper hyperthyroidism. Oh, he looks. I mean, he looks well. He probably, but I'm sure it probably ra- like ravages. Your also, do people realize that Jackie Chan was like I think in his like 50s when he did Rush Hour? Yeah, we 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 had this conversation on the podcast about you're losing your memory. That, but that is wild to me. Jackie yeah. Chan is next level. But he also, he also remember, has a new movie coming. Out. He has a new movie coming out, and I'm going to watch it. I remember, like either maybe an E True Hollywood story or something like that. But like he used to have like a really strict like health regimen and a whole like fitness thing. Like he's someone who really took obviously. Well, first of all, yeah. he took care of his voice and also his body as well to be able to do it at such at so, at so late in life. You know. His new movie is going to be so bad, but I'm going to watch it. I love Jackie don't Chan. Don't say that. You it's don't a, know it's that. A movie with, it's a movie with him. Girl, it's him and Arnold Schwarzenegger. Jake, can you pull it up, please? It's Arnold Schwarzenegger and Jackie Chan in this Man like, in the Iron Mask. Man in the Iron Mask. It is. The trailer looks wild. Like I'm <laughs> like, I don't even know what the hell's going on in this. But anyway, long story short, I, I, don't, I can talk about Jackie Chan for a very, very <laughs> long time. Well, we so we should Disney get back to Disney. Time. Do you have Disney Plus? I do have Disney Plus. Um, I well now there's like a bundle deal you can get Disney Plus because I have both Hulu and Disney Plus and I pay for them separately. But I'm you know I'm so lazy. I'm like I don't want to do the bundle thing because then then it's gonna make me re-register all of my devices and that shit drives me insane. Having to put your password in for all your things all over again is exhausting. Must be nice. Wish I could buy a house in Portland and have extra money to spend. It. <laughs> First of all, I love that they're doing this thing that they're like, listen, we've decided we'll... It started like this. Don't get cable, get Netflix. Don't get cable, get Hulu. Now they're like, we'll bundle Netflix, Hulu, um, Amazon Prime, Disney Plus. I'm like, so you mean cable? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. But the difference is it's on demand. Like Everything you can watch it whenever you want, which is the, the, the difference, you know? I mean, they used to do on Xfinity on demand. They they have a cable on demand. But you have to pay extra demand. for it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you're right. You're right. You know what? When you write, you're right. And Monet, you're right. Can we, I say, we have Disney Plus. Also, a great thing about that though is, unlike cable, which you can nowadays. Back in the day, you couldn't. You know, motherfuckers be sh- you log into your Netflix. There's eight accounts. Not me. I don't do that. I don't play that. The only person that's on it is my mom. No one else has my logins because I'm not playing that. What do you mean playing that? Like, what, what, what are you playing? I'm not sharing. Bitch, if you want Netflix, get your Netflix. I'm not, I'm not funding your addiction. Wow. You can't, get a, you can't give it for your Netflix? Hell no. I'm not, I don't do that. I don't do that. Also, when I log into my shit, I want to watch myself. I ain't trying to see what you was watching. You don't have to watch because there's different profiles. So your algorithm, your For You page stays the same. And someone else just has a completely different thing. So when you, so example, when you log into, I, we share a Disney Plus with Kennedy. Meeting Kennedy pays for Disney Plus, and we just lock. <laughs> Bob, get your. I'm, I am texting Kennedy right now to g- get your own shit. Kennedy offered it. Kennedy just offered. I was like, okay, great, I'll take it. Um, well, you know so what? She, you, Kennedy is a little white lady, so she, you know what? You you use her <laughs> shit. You use, use all her stuff. But also, like when you, whenever you log into my um my Netflix, I have an account. My mom has an account. My nephew has an account. So my my, my mom never uses hers. I don't know. My mom would just rather watch TV when it's like in the moment. Like she wants to watch it when it's on TV. Yeah. I think she doesn't want to learn a new thing. Um, but I would say the, the best thing on Disney Plus, in my opinion, is probably um, uh, Black is King is really brilliant. Um, you don't think so? Proud Family, bitch. Every episode of Proud Family is on there and all the movies of Proud Family are on there. Proud Family is the best thing on Netflix. 
what Disney Plus really taught me was how bad some of those Disney shows were. Like, no. I, was the, I was like, this is... Like what? I was like... I tried to watch the early seasons of Vessel Raven. I was like, is this even acting? It's so good. Can I just tell you, Raven Simone, her and Amanda Bynes, they were these young actors. They were such great actors. And also, but not just actors, because physical comedy still is, is another level. And I think her and Amanda Bynes, they were such great physical comedians. I love their acting. Like, like I tried to watch like Sweet Life with Zach and Cody, and I was like, what is this? It's what so even good. is this? Bob, you're crazy. Yeah, you- They're like... Hey now! <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't. Dude, this is too much for me. This is too mad. Your teeth look this so beautiful. Um, but anyway, Jacob, I just complimented go, you. Can you say Jacob, thank you? Thank can you. Can I say, Money, you're very gorgeous. Thank you for, so much for that compliment. I appreciate it. It warms my heart when you say nice things about me. I feel good about myself, and I'm very grateful to have a friend like you in my life. And you, if, ne- you, you ain't never had a sad. friend, never had a friend, never, never had a friend. Never oh my God, friend, we didn't never. even discuss the sidekicks. Yeah. We didn't even discuss the sidekicks. We didn't talk about the dragon. We didn't talk about Hey Hey. We didn't talk about the genie. Robin Williams is one of the best things to ever so happen good. to Disney. So good. And that's, and that's on period. That's on it period. was one of the, actually, you, you can't say that. You have to go, you have to go, that's on period. And you have yeah. to go, um, but it, I mean, friend like me. Oh my Such god! A good song. Oh, oh my god! It I, is. I'm, I'm literally speechless. Have you seen any, any Disney musicals? I haven't seen any of the Disney musicals. Not one. Not Aladdin. Not Lion King. Not uh, Frozen. I've seen, a, I've seen Aladdin. I've, I saw Aladdin on Broadway. I know on the West End, and it, 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 it was, it was like going to see a. It was a children's theater production, mm. like. I remember being like, I'm in a kid, I'm in a children's show. Like it's Disney and it looks expensive. I was like, this could be at a Disney park, not on the West End. Really? You know what oh, I mean? that bad? Damn. Yeah. Drag them. <laughs> also, why won't they turn Aida into a Disney into a Disney movie? Oh well, yeah, it could be. It's so good. And it's I mean, it's already written. Hercules. Vic is already written. Hercules too. Can we cast it? Who's Aida? Hi. Uh, Heather Headley, of course, beautiful voice, great. Money. She's she's aged out. She's she's like in her twenties or something. Um, right now, a singer. I would say Victoria Monet. I don't know who that is, but she's a young black woman. She's great. She's a beautiful voice. She's young. She fits the the. She's what I envision Aida to be currently. I don't want to sound like I'm reusing the same people. I'm like I don't want to be like when you know what Hollywood they're like. Old white woman, over 50, call Meryl Street. But I mean, Cynthia Arrivo. Oh, yeah, she'd be good at Would wreck she would, she this would. fucking role. This is true. She would, oh my God. Cynthia Arrivo, having Cynthia Arrivo go, all I have to do is fuck. I love when, when uh, Heather Headley goes, all I have to do is pretend <laughs> I never knew you on those very rare occasions. Or, or, or having, her, or having certain Cynthia Reva go, it's knowing what they want of me. Instead of Girl. Crosby. Also, you know good and damn well that, who, that uh, Adam Pascal, when he was acting with, with uh, Heather Headley, was covered in saliva from the top of his head to his knees. She was spitting all over that nigga the whole show. Let me tell you something. When you go to see a good production, you know it's good when your fucking leads are, when their diction is so fucking good, you can see the spit like... <laughs> Girl, Steven Spinelli used to spit on me and Angels in America. Love it. And, and he, what, what, was he great? Oh, Steven Spinella was right. intimidatingly great. All he right. used to coat me in saliva. <laughs> when I was doing the West End, and I have a scene where I had, was I had to be like this close to Courtney, and then she was like, "Monet, um, I'm, um, can we just try not to just do just like a little less spit?" And I was like, "I'm sorry, girl. I'm just, I, I'm sorry." Why is Why is Courtney British now? <laughs> Australian is the hardest. I cannot do Australian easily. You have to start by saying Adelaide. Adelaide. Or Adelaide. All right, sorry, Adelaide. Monet. Could you actually not spit on me so much when we're doing our scene? That there's a lot of good. there's a lot of saliva coming off of your mouth, and we're trying to act here, and I don't want <laughs> to be good. covered in your saliva. That was good. That was good. That's def- definitely better than your British accent, which the fans have sounded off. My British is all right. First of all, mate, my British accent is fucking proper. It's right proper. Right. So fuck off to you. Fuck off to anyone who says that my British accent ain't fucking proper, mate. 
Well, we, we've in on that fucking rap. Let's fucking wrap the fucking podcast. Right? I, wait, before we wrap, I want to say, watching you doing this podcast with you the whole time, that fucking weird white man just staring behind you is so fucking strange. Weird white man? You don't know who that is? Who the fuck is that? That's Jeff Goldblum. First of all, I got this from your job. My job? I got this from Bill's. When I filled in for you, I stole this. Bill gave you that? I said stole. <laughs> I is- did not say they gave me this. When I, when I filled in for you, I saw this and I said, I'm taking that. This is why, this will, listen, y'all, this is why you can't have niggas at your job. This is why, <laughs> this, is why, this is why you can't have niggas working with you. You're not, you. Did you really steal it, like legitimately stole it? Yeah, money, I stole this from <laughs> your job. Oh my God. And if y'all want me, try to find me. <laughs> try to find me, Bill. So I, I, I took an accident. I took an accident. I, I thought that Ezra loved Jeff Goldblum, but who is it? Steve it's Steve Buscemi. Steve Buscemi. Where he? Oh, he's the guy from um, all the Adam Sandler with the movies. eyes. He's the one with the eyes. After he, he does a lot of Adam Sandler movies. Yeah. So so I I thought that he, he loved Jeff Goldblum, and then I carried it across the country, and I was like, oh, it's the Jeff Goldblum. And he was like, why would you give me a Jeff? <laughs> No, he didn't say, he was like, I was like, you love Jeff Goldblum. He goes, yeah, I like Jeff Goldblum. I was like, you have a tattoo of Jeff Goldblum. He was like, this is Steve Buscemi. And I was like, work. So, so what you're saying is that his tattoo is a piece <laughs> of shit. I appreciated it. I was like, oh, it's, it's, it's fully not Jeff Goldblum. You're right. But anyway, that's, that's the story behind that. But I love you so much. I love you moderately. Well, you know what? I'm leaving. You also never did the thing that I asked you to do with your hoodie. Because she's still sleeping. She would be dead, Mike. <laughs> oh my God! Don't say that. You know she has a heart problem. That is not funny, Bob. Does she really? What's her condition? She has a heart condition. She got it right before I went to London, and like it's like it's like I had to give her two medicines every day. I have a heart condition too. I love you too much. All right, and fuck, <laughs> um, Starburns, wrap this shit up. I'm done. Cause you done. Bye. Bye. <laughs>